Hello all and welcome back to the YouTube channel of All Day Chess. Now we'll be covering another opening for white and black so you can expand on your repertoire. Don't forget, if you really like the series, go down there and give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Now, what are we waiting for? Let's jump in. So last time we covered the King's Pawn opening, which starts out with move number one, E4. Now we're going to learn something new, and we're going to learn 1d4. So d4 is also very playable, and it's very strong and solid too. And it can be just as aggressive. So we're going to learn an opening called the London System, which is very easy, very solid, and top grandmasters play it. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So you open up with 1d4, opening this bishop right away. There's a rule, usually develop your knights before your bishops. Irving Chernov said that. Though, that's not always true, and in this opening, it shows why. Next, black, like the king's pawn opening, will mostly respond like this. Now, right away, you bring out your bishop to f4. This is a super strong bishop now, already, and you're going to solidly develop and strike at your enemy. So now let's just say there's many moves again, and let's just say black develops his knight. Then, our ideal setup is to bring our knight, let's just say he brings his knight out, bring our pawn, let's say he brings out his bishop, and then we can bring out our knight, and then let's say he brings out his pawn. These are all just opening moves, like we covered in the last opening video, just getting ready. Right, now we can develop our bishop here, here, doesn't really matter for beginners, we can just say here. Right, next he'll develop his bishop somewhere, maybe here or something to trade off this strong bishop. And then we can castle, and we have a super solid position. So now they can castle too, and your position is super solid and very nice. And you have, you have multiple ideas, you have, well they might take queen takes or pawn takes, but let's just say they take queen takes. You have multiple ideas, you're... This bishop is now extremely strong as it's pointing towards the king. Uh, the queen and bishop don't really do much right now because they're not doing anything aggressive to you. But what you can do next is you can later on reroute this knight. And now, look at that knight. It looks so much better. And maybe, really, if you wanted to, bring your, bring your rook into the center, open it up, and blast your opponent out of there. So... That is the London system. And now we'll cover a defense for 1d4. There's many different defenses, and there's an opening, which we'll cover soon. It's called the Queen's Gambit. It's a very common opening, and again, played at the top level. It starts out with 1d4. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, we are covering the Slav defense. And we'll look into some lines real quick. Starts out with 1d5. And then they play c4. Whoa, wait a minute. You might be thinking. Ah, free pawn. But actually, it's not free, as white gets lots of development and counterplay for it. So instead of taking that pawn and getting ourselves in a whole lot of trouble, play solid. That's the way to do it. c6. Solid position. Now, white can take... And they say, oh, I have two center pawns. We don't take with the queen, guys. Don't develop that early. Instead, we'll take with the pawn. Perfectly good position. Usually, top grandmasters, they like to draw. I don't know why, but they just do. And they usually draw with the black. This is a super solid defense. And gives your winning chances the better opportunity. And at the least, it'll give you a draw. Now, if your knight develops, if white's knight develops, and he's hitting the pawn. So what? No big deal. You can just develop your knight. And again, as we can see, this, if I move this pawn up, it's called the semi-slav. Uh, I don't prefer it to be as good as the slav as this bishop is trapped. But if he takes here, now you can take with this pawn. And bam, your position's now super nice as you can develop your bishop here, your bishop here. And it's crushing. And as the knight develops, you can just slowly develop your pieces. Castle. You can see this c6 pawn restricts this bishop. So now this bishop can come here or maybe here if they don't want to trade it. And you can see your position is so much solid. 
And let me show you a quick glance of where your position would have been if you would have taken that pawn. That pawn, per se, there's something called a poison pawn. That pawn is not a poison pawn as it doesn't lose you the game, though it could be it could take you to some risk. So now, positions have crazily come like this. Bam. By the way, you lose a piece as your rook is hanging. Give up your knight. Thank you for the knight. And now you're just losing. You lost a piece. Okay, you have your bishop out, but your bishop's not doing much. Now, would you would you get into this position? Or Or would you get into a position like this where you're already losing and you don't have any clear counterplay? You guys tell me. I believe the Slav is a great opening, and your London system will be there for you too. These are some two super solid and very nice openings to play. I hope you guys enjoy these openings, and down in the comments, post below of what opening you want to be covered next, and it will be covered. That's all for now, guys. See you soon.